Hello and uh, welcome back to another unboxing video. My name's Stu, this is Super Unboxing. Um, today I've gone a bit uh, Funko Pop crazy. Uh, I'm going to be showing off um, quite a large number of Funko Pops uh, from my collection. Um, I've never actually really shown off uh, my Funko Pops on the channel before. Uh, so rather than doing like a full collection of all the Funko Pops I have, you can see all the gaps down here where I've taken some out. Um, rather than showing everything off, which would take forever, uh, I've actually just concentrated on showing you um, pretty much all the Funko Pops that I've um, acquired over the last uh, about four to six weeks. So these are all the ones I've got picked up during July and so far this month in August. So about the last six weeks, none of these Pops have been shown on my channel before. So uh, these aren't the Funko Pops that you have seen um, come out of my Pop in the Box subscriptions or any of the mo monthly subscription boxes. There's none of those Pops you've seen before. Um, all of these are pops that I've either bought myself in sales or uh, bought as part of a completed collection or have been gifted to me by like family members so uh, I thought it would be easy just to show these off um, I'll show them to you um, in the boxes I'm an inbox collector so I'll keep them in the boxes but I'll show them to you in the box and I'll also then um, edit the video afterwards so that it shows you straight away uh, out of the box as well so for all you out of box collectors as well you can get to see those close up how they'll look um, out of their boxes um, so I'll try and get through them fairly quickly so the video doesn't go on forever because there's quite a few pops there. I'll try and tell you um, if I can remember uh, where I actually got these Funko Pops from and the prices that I paid for them. Right, let's start on the It Pops. Um, we've got Bill Denver of the Losers Club. There we are, the ones you can get uh, rest in the series there. And there is Bill up close with his flashlight in his hand uh, backpack on there as well uh, I picked up the Bill Denver pop from Forbidden Planet International uh, in their sale which I believe is still going on at the moment uh, he was six ninety nine, so a little bit cheaper than normal decent price okay the next pop is another member of the uh, losers club another it pop uh, Stanley Euris there he is uh, showing off his uh, what's he got crowbar there or a pipe is it? And here is Stanley out of the box. Very nice pop that one. Blood stains all over his face. Uh, showing off his curly hair there as well. Really, really like that one. Good likeness. Uh, Stanley was picked up from um, EMP. Um, I think he was in a sale at the time. Uh, plus I had a like 15% off discount code. Uh, I'll get free delivery through EMP as well because I'm a backstage club member. So I think it came in at £6.79. So again, a decent discount, a uh, good price. And the last of the uh, It Funko Pops. Um, this one is an exclusive. Uh, Hot Topic exclusive, you can see on there. Uh, Pennywise with his balloon. I've got a few Pennywise um, Funko Pops already. Here he is, up close. Fantastic, absolutely love these Pennywise Pops. Um, really nice. This little balloon there as well. Look. Very cool looking pop. Uh, this Pennywise was from uh, Nerdy Bird. A uh, bit more expensive than I uh, usually pay for them. It's twenty two ninety nine, but um, like I say it's an import, it's Hot Topic exclusive. So uh, for the UK, uh, that's a fairly decent price. If you're in America, obviously you can probably pick this up. Um, in your local Hot Topic for a fairly decent price, a lot cheaper than getting in the UK, but obviously um, Nerdy Bird has to import all of these over from America, so that's the sort of price we have to pay, but uh, really nice pop and very pleased to have it in the collection with the rest of the Pennywise. And the next pop, um, the next one along is uh, Papa Elf, uh, this is to go with uh, Buddy, I already have um, Buddy holding his snowballs, so uh, I thought I'd get this one to add in with him. There's the rest of the ones you can get on there. There he is, look. how cool is that? <laughs> Absolutely love that pop. Even these little glasses there, look. So yeah, very nice pop that one. Definitely had to have that. Goes very well with Buddy. Uh, Papa Elf was another one which was picked up in the Forbidden Planet International Uh, Papa Elf was another one which was picked up in the Forbidden Planet um, International sale. Uh, it was six ninety nine, I believe. So again, 
decent discount from what you'd usually pay and uh, really like that one. And another one to go with the um, elf theme. Uh, you can't have Buddy and Papa Elf without having Jovi as well. So uh, picked her up as well. And there she is. Absolutely love these elf pops. <laughs> love the packaging and everything. Else. And there she is. Uh, holding a the teddy bear there. Very nice. Really, really like these pops. Uh, look just as good out of the box as well. So Jovi was uh, the same as Papa Elf, uh, picked up from Forbidden Planet again in their sale, uh, $6.99, so again, a really decent price for that one. And the next pop we have is uh, Crash Bandicoot, and there he is, uh, absolutely love the Crash Bandicoot games, and there's the rest of the ones you can pick up there. This is the only one I have actually in the Crash Bandicoot collection so far, so, and there he is, um, really, really nice pop, very good likeness that one. Um, very very cool pop to have that one I think definitely one of my favourite ones uh, likeness is absolutely spot on uh, this one was actually a uh, birthday gift from my wife and my kids uh, last month um, I know it was bought from Amazon but I can't tell you how much it was for so it's a birthday gift so sort of price is pretty ir irrelevant so um, but I say it was a gift and moving on to uh, another pop uh, next one is Shadow from the Sonic Hedgehog games Again, uh, grew up on Sonic Hedgehog. Um, remember first playing that on my Mega Drive. <laughs> and there is Shadow. Uh, close. Again, very, very nice looking pop. Likeness is spot on. Uh, love all that there with the red and the black on, the, on there as well. Very cool pop. Uh, Shadow, like the um, Crash Bandicoot, was another present. Again, it's an Amazon one, but um, not sure on the price. But really nice pop. Really like that one. And carrying on with the uh, Sonic the Hedgehog theme, we have actually have Sonic the Hedgehog uh, with these emeralds, the Chaos Emeralds. Show you the rest you can get on there as well. And there he is, uh, holding one of the Chaos Emeralds, uh, the green one as you can see. Again, they've got this absolutely spot on. Looks really, really nice. Again, this was a uh, another present, uh, another Amazon um, Funko Pop. Uh, again, so I don't know the price on those. And the next one, this is the last of the um, presents, so the last of the ones I won't know a price on. Again, this was Amazon, um, and it is Hellboy. I uh, love the Hellboy films. I haven't actually seen a, not been a new Hellboy film released for quite a few years now. I think there was supposed to be another one, but um, don't know what's happened there. Would definitely love to see another Hellboy film. Again, this is. Uh, really, really nice pop. Fantastic. I love all the detail on here uh, with the uh, horns at the top there, which have been sanded down or filed down. Um, got his arm on there as well. Look, uh, he's holding his gun uh, with the tail on the back, ponytail. It's all there. Fantastic. Uh, absolutely spot on. And moving on to the next one. Again, this is just a common pop. Um, it is uh, Dewey. Uh, the DuckTales themed Funko Pops. I uh, love DuckTales again when I was a kid. And there he is. What more can you say? A uh, very nice looking pop anyway. Goes very well with the other two. Uh, Dewey uh, was and uh, still is I believe in the Forbidden Planet sale. Uh, 6 99 So again cheaper price. Uh, very happy with that price for that. And the next pop is a Masters of the Universe. Um, you may have seen uh, in a previous pop in the box, I actually got four um, Master of the Universe Funko Pops in the same box, um, which were Skeletor, Merman, Evil Lynn, and Beastman. They were the four, first four I actually had in the collection. Absolutely loved Master of the Universe when I was a kid. That was my thing. I collected all the figures Snake Mountain, Castle Grey Skull, the whole lot. I had absolutely everything. Um, so, definitely had to collect these. So once I got those first four in a pop in the box, uh, I thought I've definitely got to start collecting the rest. So this is Orko. And there he is. How fantastic is he? Uh, I've still got an absolute buzz out of looking at anything He-Man, uh, Mars of the Universe. Um, I think it's just because how much I loved them when I was a kid. And I'll still get that buzz now just seeing these things like this uh, from Mars of the Universe. Um, Orko was in the EMP sale. Um, 
and again we had a 15% discount off everything uh, so he came in at £5.94 so very very good price for him uh, very nice looking pop and the sixth member of the uh, Master Universe collection is of course uh, Battle Armor He-Man fantastic can't have a Master Universe collection uh, without He-Man in it and there he is uh, with his shield and his axe looking absolutely fantastic very very cool love that pop uh, He-Man was again in the EMP sale um, not particularly uh, cheap price although He-Man does seem to be uh, for some reason one of the more expensive Funky Pops to pick up um, I got him for £8.49 uh, which doesn't sound a huge discount but I think he's usually around about 10 or 11 quid so uh, a little bit of a saving on there and the seventh member of my Master Universe collection is uh, Stratos There he is. Showing you all the ones you can get in the back there. So we're pretty much almost at that point where we've com completed the collection of the ones shown in the back. And there he is, Stratos. Up close. Looking cool. Very good likeness. Uh, Stratos was a uh, another one in the EMP sale at uh, £6.79. So uh, another decent price for him. Uh, let me know in the comments if you collect the uh, He-Man Master Universe series as well, well which ones you've got. i uh, be really interested to hear from you. And Master Universe Collection uh, number 8, so this is the last one I'll be showing you uh, in this video. So uh, uh, 8 now in my collection of these. And this is the uh, Trap Jaw uh, in comic cl colours. That's an exclusive pop. And a very nice pop has to be said as well. And so there's some different ones and everything we've got on here as well. I uh, don't have too many of these already. I uh, don't have She-Ra, I don't have the standard He-Man, or the standard Skeletor, um, or Spike or, or Hordak, so uh, there's some brand new ones there for me to collect, so I'll definitely be moving on to those next. Absolutely fantastic, uh, love that pop, uh, really really good likeness, got that absolutely spot on, it was one of my favourite characters on He-Man. Um, one of the figures I've played with most, so I absolutely love this Funko Pop. Okay, uh, Trap Jaw is in the Forbidden Planet sale at $7.99, so that's fairly decent for an exclusive. Um, there is some other um, Master Universe figures that come out. Ram Man, I think, was a uh, San Diego Comic Con exclusive uh, for somewhere or other. I can't remember who's got that as an exclusive, but definitely one I'll have to try and ch uh, track down. Uh, and there's another another one as well, I can't remember his name, but I say there's a few different ones were released. Uh, Comic Con, so more I'm going to have to try and ch track down and uh, you might see them in a future video. Uh, let me know if you have managed to pick up Ram Man and where you've managed to get him from. I'd be very interested to know because I've not actually managed to get hold of him yet. And moving on to the next pop, it's a, a Walking Dead pop. Um, absolutely loved Walking Dead. And there he is, up close. Uh, yeah, absolutely love Walking Dead. That's a really, really nice pop. Uh, the detail is absolutely spot on uh, with the beard and the hair and everything there. That is really, really nice. The clothes and everything. That is one definitely one of the better pops. Uh, a lot of detail on that. Uh, Ezekiel was picked up in the EMP sale. Uh, again, with my discount, I got that down to £5.94. So, again, really, really decent price. And the next uh, Walk and Dead Funko Pop um, is a Daryl Dixon uh, exclusive. This is an uh, exclusive. Um, to Forbidden Planet International um, or in the UK anyway um, Daryl Dixon in his uh, prison uniform uh, when he'd been captured by uh, the saviours poor old Daryl, looking very depressed dirty, beaten up uh, got to say it's really good likeness and a very very nice pop okay obviously being a Forbidden Planet International uh, exclusive that's where I got it from um, usually sells rate fourteen ninety nine. Had a discount which brought it down to twelve pound seventy four. So um, I say I don't collect many Walking Dead pops, but uh, that's a really really nice one. It's different. And the next Funko Pop uh, we have uh, Secret Life of Pets uh, Duke. Really liked uh, that film. Watched that one with the kids. See the ones you get in the back there as well. And what is not to like about that? <laughs> I mean, how fantastic does that look? Duke in all his massive glory. 
as I said, it wasn't initially one that I was going to pick up. Um, this is just uh, four ninety nine in the Forbidden Planet uh, sale, which is still going on now. So if you want this one, you can pick it up for four ninety nine from them. Uh, very very good price. Can't really complain at a five for that, and a really nice looking pop as well. And the second Secret Life of Pets pop that I picked up uh, is Max. Again, these pops are really nice. Uh, look very good on display. Uh, quite small for a Funko pop. Uh, very small compared to Duke, obviously, which is the idea. That's pretty much the idea of the film. And there he is. Very cool. Again, another one that I wasn't initially going to pick up. But again, for four ninety nine, uh, which is currently on sale for. If you're interested in uh, Secret Life of Pets. Uh, or you like the film, uh, then definitely worth picking up for four ninety nine. Um, I'll probably go and pick up the rest of the collection. You can get still get Gidget, uh, Chloe, and Snowball on there as well, all for four ninety nine as well. So we'll probably get those to complete the collection. Uh, you can also get the flocked versions of these as well for six ninety nine. So if you're into those sort of things as well, you can pick those up. Uh, I'm not sure I'll go quite that extreme and pick those up as well, but um, yeah, some really nice pops those ones. Okay, back to the Christmas theme. Uh, definitely one of my new favourite pops uh, and one of my favourite Christmas films uh, it's uh, Clark W. Griswold from National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation absolutely had to have this pop I've definitely got to get Cousin Eddie have to get that, don't know that yet have to get that pop um, let me know if you've seen that anywhere and where's, where's the cheapest to get would really like uh, to know that be interested to know where I get that nice and cheap if you've seen it anywhere and there he is uh, the wonderful Chevy Chase Fantastic! Oh, he's cut there with his eggnog in, uh, and he's like Santa coat and hat. Fantastic! Absolutely love this Funko Pop, and I was like, definitely one of my new favourites. And again, he's another one from the Forbidden Planet International uh, sale, uh, six ninety nine, I believe he was. So, if you love uh, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation as much as I do, and Funko Pops, fantastic combination. Uh, go and pick yourself one up. And the next Funko Pop, uh, moving back to uh, a gaming theme again. And again, a game I absolutely loved uh, playing uh, many years ago now, um, which is uh, Licker from Resident Evil. Uh, absolutely love the Resident Evil games. Uh, Resident Evil 2 was definitely my favourite. Uh, spent many, many hours playing that. As you can see, there's the other ones there you can get. Definitely one of the best um, pops you can get, I think. I mean, how cool looking is that? That is absolutely phenomenal as a Funko Pop. I absolutely love that Funko Pop. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, do you have this? Did you love Resident Evil? Uh, I know I certainly do. This was picked up from EMP, an EMP sale. Again, with some discount, it came in at £9.34. Doesn't sound like a uh, particularly cheap price, but again, this is one of the ones which is a little bit more expensive to pick up uh, in most places, so it was definitely one I really wanted to pick up, so I was quite happy to pay that price. And following on in the Resident Evil theme, uh, we have the next one here, Nemesis. Again, another fantastic looking pop. Absolutely love these uh, Resident Evil ones. Very, very cool looking pop. That is fantastic. As a fungo pop, that you don't get much much better than that. Um, I absolutely love it. Uh, younger kids absolutely hate it, <laughs> but. Um, that is very very nice. I mean, look at the detail on that. That is so realistic. That's fantastic. Really really well done. And this one with again was from EMP. Um, cost a fairly hefty eleven pound and four pence. Uh, that was with discount again. It's another one that seems to be fairly expensive to pick up. I'm not sure quite why. It's not an exclusive or anything, but uh, for some reason, um, I say it's quite hard. Well, not hard to get hold of, but it's hard to get hold of at a cheap price. So um, even though it's been out for quite a while, but I'm really glad to have it in the collection. It goes very well with the liquor pop as well. Okay, moving on to the last two sets of pops I've got left here. Uh, and this is the um, uh, set of two figures here. And it is the Joker and Harley Quinn at the beach. Really, really like that set. I don't usually buy sort of multiple sets normally. So I just prefer to have um, single figures. Uh, but I really, really like that one. And there they are. Uh, ready for the beach, doesn't look fantastic together. Uh, my daughter is absolutely obsessed with um, Harley Quinn, has been desperately trying to steal this off me. Um, but that is really, really nice. Very well done. Can't have Joker without Harley Quinn, so really good uh, in a set together. 
Okay, these are from again Forbidden Planet. Um, I think they were fourteen ninety nine, and I think they still actually are on there at the moment. If you're looking to pick up, pick these up. Uh, really, really nice set. I uh, really like those. Uh, I think for fourteen ninety nine, that's very decent for for two pops you get in there. So uh, yeah, if you look to pick those up, Forbidden Planet is the place to go, and you should still be able to get those for fourteen ninety nine. Okay, and the last one, this is the last one I've got to show you today, uh, thank God I'm sure you're saying, um, is the uh, Ghost Rider, uh, Glows in the Dark it says, there we go, there's the rest of the ones in the Marvel series, I mean look at that, that is fantastic, I mean I already have um, Wolverine on his motorbike, um, obviously sort of similar design style to that, but this I think is even better. That is absolutely fantastic. Um, some things I do display out of the boxes, and this is one thing that I think would actually look pretty cool out of the box. But um, I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments below. In the box or out of the box, do you think? Okay, so this is yet another um, Forbidden Planet International uh, sale item. It's uh, fourteen ninety nine there, which again is really really good for a. Uh, a pop ride is usually sell for around about £25 I think so for fourteen ninety nine, that is a really really good price and definitely worth picking up if you're interested in um, Ghost Rider. Okay so here they all are, uh, look at this massive collection, really hope you enjoyed today's video, um, uh, really hope you enjoyed all of these Funko Pops and um, seeing them in the box and out of the box, uh, let me know in the comments down below what you thought, um, if there's something you'd like to see again in the future. Uh, do you think the video was too long? Do you think there's uh, too many pops here? Let me know what you think. Um, if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a, a thumbs up. If you're new here uh, and you're into Funko Pops and any sort of unboxing, uh, please subscribe to the channel. Also, click on the uh, notification bell so you're notified when I release new videos, which is every single day. And as I said, comment down below. I'd love to know what you thought about these Funko Pops. Which ones are your favourites? Uh, which ones have you seen today that you might actually go and pick up? Um, if uh, you know any other ones in, the, in these series that I could get hold of at uh, a decent price, I'd be very happy to hear from you about that. Um, so thanks for tuning in, and I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.